Hi, I want to continue understanding better the idea of a derivative and uh, how it relates to a tangent line. And so we're going to use GeoGebra again to try to look at um, the limit definition of the derivative. So in an earlier video, we were looking at a point at x equals 1. So let's create that point again. 1, and use the function to find the y value. And so I have this point here at uh, 1, negative 11. And uh, in another video, we found a tangent line by just trying to find a line that matches. And today what I want to do is I want to focus on uh, finding that slope of the tangent line through a different method. The idea is I'm going to look at a second point, and I'm going to take my x value as 1 plus, I'm going to use h. Um, that represents how far away from 1 I am. And I'm going to evaluate the function at that second point. And so uh, the default for this h is going to be a value of 1, so that I add 1 and I end up at 2. I use the function and I get negative 16. So if I were to find the slope here, uh, my slope is equal to uh, the fraction where I take the second point, f of 1 plus h minus f of 1, and I'm going to divide by the 1 plus h and minus 1. And so the line that joins point A with point B has a slope of negative 5. And let's create that line. So we have a line that joins A with B. Okay, <clears throat> so this line, as I go over 1, I go down 5, I go over 1, I go down 5, so that's my slope of negative 5. Uh, what we did to find our tangent line in an earlier video is we changed this point B by going up and down. Um, it had no relation to the graph, I was just trying to change the line. What we can do on this problem is I can set different values of h that makes that second point closer to the first. Um, so notice that this is not a tangent line because I'm not matching the slope here at the point A. Instead, I'm pointing off to the side to get at the value B. Um, so if I change my h to be something like 0 0.1, now this second point is much, much closer to the first point, and my line is going to be really close to my tangent line. And so if I look at the slope here, I see that my slope is, let's uh, keep that there, negative 8.69 between those, between those two points. Um, now, this is not a tangent line yet, because I'm still not matching um, this, the uh, tangent line. There's a little bit of variation here uh, between the graph. It's hard to see. Um, and what the idea of the definition of a derivative is that we're going to choose this h and make it get even smaller. So we're going to get closer, 0 0.01. And now I'm, these two points are really close. And notice that the value of the slope, it wasn't, it's no longer negative 8.69, it's now negative 8.9699. And so I've moved away from that old value. Um, now let's watch this slope as I change and get even closer. So I'm going to change it from point 0.1 to point 0.01, and now to point 0.001. And as I look at the new value, negative 8.996, and then a bunch of 998, and then all 9s after that. Okay. Um, what's happening is the closer I get to the first point, um, this slope is getting closer and closer to the value of negative 9. And that value of negative 9 is the slope of the tangent line, right? So if I said, what's the slope of the tangent line at 1? Um, the actual value is negative 9. I can use this ratio. It's called the difference quotient, or the uh, average rate of change between two points. I can use this value to calculate approximations of the slope of the tangent line, and the smaller my value h is, the closer the approximation. 